This cannot emulate the Tosun. Now, generational problem. Eh. Because what we are having now is a repeat of history. I go make you understand. Oh, now see this governor where there is a canoe. Abba Yusuf. <laughs> he gave one video where I go play for one. Oh, I go understand why I talk. See, this canoe emirate Tosu. Now, generation now, Wahala. Eh. History. He did repeat himself. Abba Yusuf, great grandfather. He been dethroned a Maya of Kano during their own time. Eh, I know to get as it take up, eh, but I will play one video for you. He dethroned him. He reached his own grandfather at the own papa time. Eh, I think he was an Emaya or something. Because even the Abba Yusuf na prince. So he have a shot to the Kano Emirates. If him say he won't become the Emaya of Kano today. He is in the lineage. I be mean, their family, they, the kingship lineage. <laughs> oh, oh now they hear me. So, this their emirators. This guy, Abba, you see, he understand the politics well. We consider this uh, Kano emirators. <laughs> How many understand the well, very well? Because the grandfather, the great grandfather, has one time dethroned an emir of Kano. So, people now. When one call they carry themselves, they put inside this wahala, inside Kano State, where inside their Emirates. <laughs> they were careful. Make what it happen before, no repeat itself again. When it comes to the uh, Kano Emirates, the people that are dancing in that arena, they understand that arena very well. What do I mean? The governor, Abba Yusuf, is in that arena. He understands this very well. He's even entitled to become the Emir if he wants. Eh, uh, Ado Bayero is dancing within that arena. Uh -huh. Their lineage is also in the kingship lineage. So, him being Emir, nothing is wrong with it. So, he's still within that uh, dancing hall. Oh, they get me? Then, come to Sanusis the second. He is also in the pipeline. Within that dancing arena of the Emaya of Kano, all of them understand the terrain they are in. Make persuade the outside, no con they put head inside with no consign ammo. Because, as far as I'm concerned, what is happening in this Kano Emirates? Eh? You know, supposed to be political matter. Now, they know as they think they sort out themselves. <laughs> but if you won't carry your own, now say, eh, you'll be power at the center. APC, APC. You won't carry your head now, con chuck inside the matter. It go swallow you. Make one here waiting Boba Galadiman talk as he take touch this matter. We consign the Kano Emirates. Boba Galadiman, now one Abalaba, where everybody's supposed to listen to. Make one here with him talk. And the one way him they give this APC and to the book of men. Make one no carry on a head chuck inside this matter. It go swallow on a like. Shark swallowed Jonah. I've been a Jonah swallowed the, uh, uh, the shark. Um, there was a swallow. <laughs> Come on, your head do. Let them iron out their differences. May they know as they go take sort out their problem because the three of them where they involved in this matter, they understand the terrain. You will be outsider. You don't understand the terrain. Make it for no swallow you. Listen to Buba Galadima. Come to the conversation and tell me what you feel like or what you think or if Buba Galadima is making sense or not. Watch this video. I'm one person that you can be safe to say you can always know where I stand indeed on any issue this issue I have deliberately decided not to comment on it so you don't actually for some stand very personal reasons right but there are two things I will say I hope the nation knows that Abba Kabir Yusuf himself is entitled to be the Emir of Kano. That's the governor. Yes. His grandfather was the Emir. And his grandfather, I mean his great grandfather was an Emir. And his father, as a prince, grandfather Galadima Yusuf. 
He is Abba Kabir Yusuf. That Yusuf was the prince that revolted and removed the area that was then appointed by the Sultan of Sokoto for Kano. He led the Calvary that removed that emir. What year? So if history is anything to go by, mm. what, what Abba was? have been about 70, 80 years ago, right. if history is anything to go by, he is just at home with what he has done. He himself is entitled to be the emir. He could have appointed himself. That is one point I wanted to make. Secondly, you know everything that is happening in Kano has got to do with the politics. But in this politics that they do in Kano, one group has got an edge over the other in terms of propaganda, publicity, and federal support. And the federal support, they don't know that they can't do as they wish. It is not their province. It is not their province. They have nothing to do with chieftaincy title. They don't have. The other group has got an inherent constitutional responsibility to do what they are doing. So for me and you, we should wait and see. We are in a democracy. People should know that just simply because they didn't like the MP NNPP in Kano, we defeated them flat in 2011. They took it away from us by force. We were not prepared to face them then. We said, allow them. There will be time when we will have the strength to fight back. That time came up in 2023. We defeated them flat. They padded their votes. They padded the votes. They didn't get up to 20% of what they had announced for themselves. They used the INEP. They used the security forces to do that. Yet, they couldn't get the numbers to beat us. Even where they cut off some of our figures. And I have said this on a program here. I hope you will remember. We, they went to tribunal. We thrashed them. Because they don't, they don't remember history. They went and seized the members of the tribunal. Gave them a written judgment. Which they read through Zoom. We let them. We appealed. At the court of appeal... They went and seized the judgment, wrote the judgment in their own language. The other first, the first one, they gave them a whole written judgment, which they read. They know that, that we know. In the second one at the Court of Appeal, they wrote judgment, but they, uh, they failed to, to, to rewrite the conclusions of that judgment. And because those judges were clever people, they allowed them to read what they gave them, including the conclusion. And the conclusion, the main body of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the judgment gave APC judgment. But the conclusion, which they didn't change, gave us judgment and fined them. And because they were fools, they couldn't understand. So, we went to Supreme Court. Whether you know or you don't know, there was a revolt by the Supreme Court judges that they will never temper with the judgment of Kano. I say this on record. They know we know. So, I have never seen in the world where there is a compromise in legal issue. So the compromise is that every governor whether qualified or not qualified, if they should leave Kano, everybody should be left on his seat. <laughs> now, they came again through the other side on the issue of EMEA. If we have governor, they insisted they must have an EMEA. 
Uh, what has EMEA got to do with the politics? After all, there were five EMEAs, yet we won the election. Huh? I hope Nigerians are listening. There were five. We won election. So if you install another one, just one, how could he defeat us? I want to tell federal government, including my friend, President Bola Tinubu, that he should be mindful of Kano politics. It will destroy his presidency. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent Vehicles, the pride of African roads.